Looney 2, 5 Mike, low out to alert in case 1,000 feet. Climb and maintain 1,800. Looney 2, 5 Mike, check your altitude immediately. Altitude in case 900. MVA in your area is 1,500. Climbing at 1,400, 2, 5. 1, 2, 0, 0, 5. Here, we're going to have to board this. I just can't seem to get it straight. 2, 5, Mike, how's your fuel here? Are we fueling everything? Oh, yeah, we got loads of fuel. We can go another couple hours here. Okay, right, right. New Haven's weather just went down to a mile, patch mile visibility. RVR is more than 6,000. Um, it's still, still same ceiling. But uh, Brad, uh, Hartford Airport was reporting 10 miles visibility and 1,000 feet overcast. Uh, that's about... 30 miles to the northeast of New Haven. Let's try that. All right, let me keep looking around. What's your fuel status remaining in hours and minutes? Um, I still got a good hour and a half of fuel, sir. So. 108.8. I'm just having trouble controlling the plane and doing stuff at the same time, sorry. Are you a newly instrument rated pilot, sir? Uh, no, about 10 years, but uh, haven't gotten to minimums in a while. New York messed me up pretty good. November 9525, Mike, are uh, you able to navigate direct to Bravo Delta Romeo? Uh, I'm all over the place with this, sir. Hold on. Are you experiencing navigational problems with the aircraft, sir? No, I'm just, I just got a, I'm just got a lot of turbulence up here, and I'm trying to, I'm, there's nobody in here to control but me, so I can't switch frequencies and do everything. I'm doing it all myself. Two five, Mike. Um, I'm just having too much struggle up here. Can I get above, above the ceilings again, sir? We're 9525, Mike, just want to verify safe fuel on board? Uh, yeah, we still got about an hour and a half of fuel. 9525, Mike, are you above the clouds yet? Uh, I'm sorry, sir, repeat that. Are you still uh, in the clouds? Uh, yeah, still here. Um, yeah, I, I think one of my problems, the main GPS I'm following is, uh, is, is totally wrong. Okay, tell you what, we're 9525, Mike, uh, just uh, level, level your wings, level the aircraft, and uh, we'll start from there, okay? Alrighty, I still got another one on my iPad, but the battery's about dead. Okay, I'm gonna have to choose by my... Uh, uh, let me worry about the navigation, okay? Just level your wing. Alrighty. Okay, November 9 or 5, 2, 5, Mike. Uh, just let me know when you're straight and level, okay? Uh, I thought I was, sir. Am I still turning? Uh, radar lags a little bit. Yeah, I've got about another 10% on this iPad, and then I have no GPS's left in this plane. Forget the GPS. Level your wings, fly the aircraft. Do that first. Alrighty. Two five, Mike. It's uh, we're selling you in the left turn right now. I just want you to level your wings. Nine six, Church. Nine five, two five, Mike. Looks like you're more or less going in a straight line now, about a two zero zero heading. Just uh, worry about leveling the wings, and I'll worry about the navigation. Okay. Alrighty, sir. Is there anything uh, way further south? I'm thinking of just heading back home at this point. Uh, where did you come from? Uh, New Bern, EWN. Is Atlantic City or any of those points further south better? Uh, 525, Mike. Uh, Fuel-wise, uh, you would you have enough to get down there? Yeah, we got, yeah we got enough fuel for that. All right, can I get vector help here, sir? Sure. Number 9525, Mike. Uh, when able, turn the left left turn heading zero nine or zero. Left zero nine or zero two five, Mike. All right, 25, Mike, you do have a VOR receiver, correct? Oh, uh, yeah, we got a couple of VORs, so one of them's got to work. Okay, yeah, so forget about the GPS. We'll work on the VOR. I'll give you vectors for the approach, okay? Number 9525, Mike, safe persons on board. Uh, me and my wife, sir. Sir, my engine just died. Say again? Yeah, we better get down. I just switched tanks. It looks like one tank's dry. All right, number 9525, Mike, send me maintain, uh... 4,000, turn left heading 010. 4,010. Zero, zero. So verify again, altitude and uh, heading. That's 525, Mike, fighting 020, zero, zero, maintain 4,000. 020 zero, zero and 4,000. 525, five, Mike, uh, how much fuel do you estimate do you have? Uh, well, one gauge says I got over a quarter of a tank and that just went dry. I should probably still have about 8 or 10 gallons. There was 9525, Mike, the VOR frequency is 108.8. Turn left heading 240 for now. 240. 240. Right now, 9525, Mike, advise when you have uh, the VOR dialed in there. Uh, oh, I'm on, yeah, I got him in. I'm already, looks like I'm already lined up. Yeah, you're almost on there. 969, contact the post 133.1. Nine five two five, Mike. Two miles from Millam. 
Maintain 2,000 hill established in the final approach course. Cleared VOR, runway 24 approach. Circle to runway 29er. Circle to 29er. Runway 9525, Mike, near approach. Yeah. Okay, runway 9525, Mike, uh, are you able to, uh, are you established on the approach? Um, I'm, I dialed it in, but I keep blowing back and forth a little bit. It looks like I'm right on it now. Okay, number 9525, Mike, looks like you've slightly left the course, but not by much. Number 9525, Mike, uh, you are clear to land on runway 29er. Clear to land 29er, uh, any obstacles here? I'm at 800 feet now. Number 9525, Mike, negative, you're, uh, right on the shoreline there. And 525 Mike should be over the uh, the uh, Long Island Sound right now. Airport should be about your 12 to 1 o'clock in two to three miles. We'll start losing radar here. And 525 Mike, do you have the field in sight? Uh, yeah, looks like it. 